Right, what is up? Took a 10 euro flight from Sofia to Copenhagen for my birthday. So here I am, I turned 31 uh, this week and going to celebrate a bit in the Danish capital. Because why not? Let's go. Alright, so I've arrived in my hostel. If you want to know which one it is, just drop a comment. But here's the place where I'll be spending my weekend basically. Pretty cool. So, good morning from Copenhagen. It is your average winter day. Quite cold and windy, human sort of wind. So, I'm out and about with my sunglasses as always and a nice hat. Um, what am I going to do this weekend here in Copenhagen? I don't have any plans for the day, it's just starting. It is 10 to 11 as you can see. I guess I'll just, oh, it's just a mirror image. I'll just stick to the city, I suppose. I was planning to go to Malmö, maybe to check it out, but I guess the train tickets are fairly expensive. More expensive than my tickets to Copenhagen in the first place. And Malmö probably isn't that exciting either. And I haven't truly really seen all of Copenhagen, so I suppose I'll just stay here. And it's a fairly nice city after all. I like the guys because they're tall and blonde, so I guess I'll just have some dates as well. Because why not, you know? Right, I guess I can count myself lucky if it's dry in Copenhagen and not freezingly cold. There's people on the terrace, so that means for Danish uh, perspectives it is a good day to be outside. Makes me think a lot of the Netherlands, my good old Holland. Same type of building, same type of cousiness. It's actually a pretty impressive city in terms of architecture and buildings. All sorts of large churches, palaces, whatnot. I'm quite fond of Copenhagen in general. Uh, apart from that, it's horribly expensive. A coffee at McDonald's costs you like four euros. Can you imagine? There's even horses roaming around here. I suppose there's some type of palace here. Beautiful white horses. So I just read in Google Maps it is the Christiansborg slot where you can just go in the tower for free, it says. And there's a toilet and whatnot. So if you're ever in Copenhagen, go check this place out. I'm not going to the to the top right now, I don't really feel like it. I'm getting hungry because it is time for our lunch. So the last time I was in Copenhagen it was also a weekend with Wizard in 2019. I had like two dates with tennis guys and they were awesome. Um, they're real good looking actually but uh, yeah it was our Saturday on Sunday and arrived Saturday afternoon, left on Sunday night so I didn't see a lot of the city. I'm glad that now I can catch a bit more. I haven't had any dates uh, still but at least a thousand messages I think so just might. So Copenhagen is together with Amsterdam, which is actually number one. One of the most bike friendly cities in the world. Perhaps it's number two, I'm not quite sure. I think so. Time for lunch here in the restaurant Hala Hala here, which is sort of Middle Eastern cuisine. Lovely place, so enjoy. Ah, ouais? Ouais, je vais te faire des trucs. Tu vas 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 te faire des truc
It's like a more colorful version of Amsterdam, better in a sense. And here's a few shots of the Niehaven, the new port of Copenhagen, possibly the most famous place in the city, together with the Mermaid, let's say, where I haven't been yet. Need to see where that is. Yeah, it's a bit touristy, but nonetheless, you can see why it's cozy. It's a cute little spots. <laughs> 